Two weeks into President Trump's uh, crime crackdown in the district and violent crime numbers are trending down. And it comes as the president sends even more National Guardsmen and federal agents into city streets with a focus on violent crime and immigration enforcement. The DOJ toasts in town in new numbers uh, saying that more than 700 arrests have been made since the start of the crackdown. We head out live to 14th and U Street in Northwest where federal law enforcement were out earlier today. That's where we find our Randy Bass who saw them in action. Hey Randy. Yes, multiple federal agents were out here conducting immigration enforcement earlier today and the presence of federal law enforcement is really being felt around the district and it could be working to deter violent crime. The city hasn't reported a homicide in almost 10 days. Today, DC News Now cameras catching a small crowd forming around a moped delivery driver stopped by masked federal agents, some identifiable as HSI, inquiring about his immigration status telling us through a translator he was let go after finding his temporary protected status was valid. Calmado. Calm. I have no reason to go against them or get angry. Just stay calm when this happens to you. The Department of Justice says it's made more than 700 arrests, including 36 immigration-related arrests just yesterday. D.C. police crime stats also showing violent crime is down since the start of the crackdown, with no homicides reported since August 13th. The president talking about those statistics this morning. Uh, D.C. was a hellhole, and now it's safe. And in fact, I put out this morning, it, it's, I said, I hate to say this because it doesn't sound very good, but there have been no murders in D.C. in the last week. That's the first time in anybody's memory that you haven't had a murder in a week. D.C. crime statistics show a seven-day stretch without a homicide has also happened a few other times this year. People we talked to say they think increased law enforcement presence could be part of what's behind the downward trend. I can see how something like violent crime would just go down off the strength of people not wanting to get caught up with unnecessary, you know, trauma. Violence prevention organization Peace for D.C says it takes time to establish real trends. It's not something that you can, um, you know, stop quickly. It, it's long-term work. It's long-term investment. It's built working with communities, building trust. And you can expect to see that continued law enforcement presence here near 14th and U and really along the entire U Street corridor tonight as another juvenile curfew zone, extended juvenile curfew zone, takes effect. Enforcement for that gets underway tonight at 8 p.m. In Northwest, I'm Randy Bass, DC News Now.